Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How can I access and use the LDAP test query feature of WebSphere Application Server to test my LDAP? This video will cover the following. How to access LDAP test query. Five examples of queries. Example one, SSL enabled query to LDAP using CN filter. Example 2. Non-SSL enabled query to LDAP. Example 3. SSL query to LDAP using mail filter. Example 4. Failed attempt to connect to LDAP using incorrect base DN. Example 5. Failed attempt to connect to LDAP SSL enabled checkbox unchecked. Starting in Westphere 90, 85510, 80013, and 70041. The LDAP test query feature was introduced to help administrators test LDAP configurations from WebSphere. This feature can be found under Federated Repositories, Standalone LDAP Repository, and under your Security Domains LDAP Configuration Panels. Log in with your credentials. Expand Security. Click Global Security. Click Configure. Click the Repository Identifier. Notice that for this LDAP we have SSL enabled. Make sure that the LDAP certificate has been added to the WebSphere Trust Store if your LDAP has SSL enabled before continuing. Click LDAP Test Query. Notice everything is pre-populated with the information from the security panel. All these fields can be edited to test a different LDAP as needed. The bind password will always need to be re-entered. Retype the bind password. Type a search filter string. Click test query. The input parameters will appear at the top. The results will appear below. If multiple items are returned, they will be separated by a blue entry. Click back. Retype bind password. The non-SSL port can also be tested. Type the non-SSL port for the LDAP. Default is 389 for most LDAPs. Uncheck SSL enabled. Click test query. The results are displayed. Click back. Retype bind password. Click SSL enabled. Search a different filter like mail. Click test query. The results are displayed. Click back. Retype bind password. Click SSL enabled. Add an invalid base DN. Click test query. Notice that there are no results due to the incorrect base DN provided. In this case, you will need to get with the LDAP administrator to provide you the correct base DN. In some cases, you will get an error in WebSphere if incorrect parameters are used. Example, I tried to connect to the LDAP with the SSL enabled unchecked. The following error is displayed. This concludes the presentation. Hope you received the basic knowledge to use the LDAP test query. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.